Welcome back to Stacy So and So. Thank you for joining me again this week. This is actually the last day of July, so I thought that gives me one more chance to do a Christmas in July episode. If you remember back um, a couple few months ago, I made memory pillows for my aunt who lost her, her husband, my uncle, very suddenly. Um, and the one thing she also wanted to have made, I've mentioned this before, are memory Christmas ornaments for her to give to um, all of her sister-in-laws and of course to her son, her daughter, the grandchildren. So I'm going to do a test one today. Debbie is going to get two. She's going to get the one I'm testing because it's in Mountaineer colors and she is a huge Mountaineer fan. Um, this one's a little bit bigger than the ones I will be making, I think, for, uh, for everyone. But I wanted to kind of just give you an idea of how I'm going to make these because they also translate into making some other really cute Christmas ornaments that are either Santa or maybe snowman related. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm up to today. Okay, so for this project, this is a piece of one of the shirts I had left from doing um, the memory pillow. And you can see that this has still a little piece of the front placket with a couple of the buttons. Um, I have my hoop, like I said, now this is a five or five and a half inch. I think I'm actually gonna take it down to the four inch size ones, um, but I'm gonna do a test with this one. Plus I said, like I said, Debbie is going to get this one as well. She'll get two. I have some uh, red embroidery thread because I thought once I put this together, and even when I do um, the rest the ones for the rest of the family, um, I can't really do much as far with my embroidery machine on here, but I think I will add a little red heart on one side. Now on this one, I'm gonna do it by hand, but I think when I do, because I have, will have so many to make, I have a perfect size red heart embroidery pattern for my machine, and so I will do uh, all the hearts on there, and then I will either sew or um, use the easy to steam to attach them. So therefore I also have my little embroidery kit out here that my mom got me for Christmas, which I've used so much, and a pair of scissors, because there's just not a lot of sewing on this unless you're doing the embroidery by hand. So let's talk about what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to take the little hoop and I'm going to place it underneath like so. Now, oh, I'll tell you one thing I did do. I had, was testing this before. I sewed this down, the placket, because it kept shifting all over the place. So if you're going to add that portion of the shirt, I recommend just sewing a straight seam down and sewing it in place because it was really kind of frustrating. So you just kind of got to figure out where you want it um, and how it will work with your hoop. Now, I like I, said, I went ahead and tested this out. I want it to be centered. And I want it to be tight, and it is going to be tight. I'm going to have to loosen this up just a little bit more because the plaque, you know, that front part of the shirt is very thick. So we're going to get this in here like this. Oh my goodness. Almost there. Let's loosen it just a little bit more, and I think we'll have it. Then we can tighten it back up. There we go. Oh, that's good. That's very good. All right. Now let's just tighten this up really, really tight. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be the main part of our ornaments. There we go. I'm going to make sure I got that on really good. Okay, so now all you have to do is cut off any excess. So let me do that, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so there we go. We have the ornaments started. And like all I, I just got as close as I could to the edge and cut it off. So let's talk about some things you can do besides just, you know, maybe adding a heart. If you want, you can certainly add some trim or rickrack around here. Feel free to embellish however you want. Um, or if you prefer, because maybe you want to just have it hanging flat against a wall like this, you could also add your trim across the back so that it just sticks out. Now, as I talked about, 
this could also be a cute way to do like a Santa ornament or a snowman. Imagine using like some white material, whether it's cotton or like a fuzzy material, do all white, add black buttons down the front. So it's like the coal for the front of your snowman. It's the buttons. And then across the top, add a little scarf and then you can add your little hook and hang it. Um, you could add a little, little bits of holly onto the top. That would be cute. You could do, get the same effect, but for Santa, if you do red, then use a piece of black ribbon across the middle for his belt, put a little buckle on it, um, maybe add some white fur across the top or just a white fur piece down the middle. It would be really, really cute. Now, what I'm gonna do, uh, once I get the, the heart embroidered on, which I'll show you in a few minutes, is I think I'm going to use, um, I'm gonna look at my ribbon, I think I'm gonna just put a really pretty uh, bow across the top, either in uh, gold, navy, or white. And then we'll add the little Christmas hook onto this right here for her to hang it. So let me first get started by I'm going to draw a little heart on here, and then I'm just going to use a satin stitch to fill it in. Okay, so I got my water erasable marker, and I think I'm I think I'm going to put the heart like right down in here. So it's going to be a little hard to see on the dark. But I'm just going to do, let's see, I want it to go this way. Or do I want it straight? No, I want it this way. Okay. So we're going to draw a heart on, like so. There, now I can see it. I don't know if you can. There you go. So now I am just going to use my red embroidery thread, and I'm going to use a satin stitch to fill in the red heart. Okay, sort of a success, sort of a fail, but have a solution. First, let me show you. I think it looks really cute. I took the other button off the placket piece that I cut off and I decided to add it as the center of the bow. I'm gonna put a little hook up here for it to hang. Now my little heart. I am still just learning how to embroidery. So it's going to take me a little time, but I did do just a little back stitch. You can kind of see where it is. I think I will go ahead and even on this one, I'm going to pick this out and use the hearts that I make on my embroidery machine because they're so detailed and they're really, really pretty. So I am definitely going to add one of those in place of this, but I wanted to give you an idea if you want to be able to make some memory ornaments for yourself, uh, for other family members, this is a great way to do it. You don't have to use the piece that goes down the front of the shirt. I mean, you could take one shirt and make a multitude of these, uh, you know, just putting them wherever. And then if you want to add buttons down the front, you certainly can and decorate them however you like or however you think your family members will enjoy. If you aren't going to be making memory, you know, if you don't need to make memory ornaments, consider this as a fun craft that you could even do with the kids. And go back and think about the using making it look like Santa Santa suit or a snowman it would be a great addition to add to your Christmas decorations this year so I want to thank you guys for joining me again this week I know this was a short one but this is a really easy project and it was really just intended to kind of inspire you and give you some ideas I will be back next week uh, probably doing an upcycle if you know me so thank you so much for being here please be sure if you weren't already to subscribe to my account um, and maybe share it with other people you know that enjoy this kind of content. So I will see you next week and until then, happy sewing.